guys, it's Reagan and welcome back to another video. Today I'm joined by a very special guest. This is Clay, if you're not familiar. He is my fiance. Fiance. We have to use that word now, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or getting married. Today's video is a reprise of something we did last year that honestly we had a lot of fun doing and you guys also seem to really like. And that is I gave Clay my credit card in my dreams and sent him off to the bookstore to randomly pick out five books which he did. Yep, so I went to the bookstore and got five books for Reagan. It was significantly easier than last time. Oh, because really? New York bookstores are just really small. Reagan likes fiction and fantasy, mm. and just small bookstores tend to not have big fantasy sections. So That is true. Um, I only had to go to one store this time. He went to Book People, which is one of my favorite bookstores of all time. I'll have some clips that he took while he shopped, overlaid, right now, so you can see the beauty and the majesty of it. Do you have a particular strategy going into your shopping? Yep, so I had a similar strategy as I did last time, which was one, was looking at these bookshelves <laughs> before I went and just trying to get a visual imprint of what's on here, looking at her TBR, which I don't think you can see over here, and just knowing what's come out recently. Um, and I hear her talk a lot frequently as well, so you have like a generally good pulse on what you are reading, what you have read at least mm -hmm. recently. And then uh, I used Goodreads while I was in the store to check things out to make sure I wasn't getting a book that's really bad. And uh -huh. then also just knowing what she likes, kind of reading about what the individual book is about and if it might be something that interests Reagan. So sweet. Did you use any of the recommendation cards that are in the bookstore? Yes. So I love those. Book people at a lot of the books will have like a staff recommendation in depth and in detail and those are really useful to read as well. Yeah. Book people always has some of the best recommendations. I found so many books just shopping there myself. In terms of success rate for last video, I've only read two of the books he picked me up last time, but I do plan to read them all. And you know what, let's just keep adding to the TBR. That's my general philosophy. That's, that's the process with reading. <laughs> that's kind of my philosophy anyway. Now, more books, less problems, am I right? Clay was also kind enough to wrap all of the books, so it is very much like Christmas for me, which I very much appreciate, but I guess we can go ahead and dive right in. Is there like an order you want to Yep, I already do? organized it in the oh, order really? I thought. They should so, go. You're so organized, Clay. All right, well, I guess we can begin. Book number one feels like a hardback. Did mm -hmm. this call out to you for any specific reason? I guess no spoilers, but was it there... Did. There's a very specific reason. Oh, okay. Do you want me to open it first? Mm -hmm. Okay. I do love a hardback, though. Oh, I've been wanting to read this. Oh, this is so good. He got me Hail Mary by Andy Weir, which is actually so cute. Mm -hmm. I've read The Martian as well, uh -huh. and I really, really liked it. Saw that was one of the too. first books you got me when we first mm -hmm. started dating. Probably within the first year of dating, I had bought The Martian for Reagan. Uh -huh. which is, I, I have it on my shelf. Yeah. Uh, when we first started dating, I used to write little notes uh -huh. in the books and give it to her on, you know, anniversary or like yeah. stuff like that. I have not done that in years. <laughs> Anyways, but I really like the book. Reagan read it and I looked up on Goodreads and it's really good as well. This one I'm really looking forward to, not only because of the connection to The Martian, which you already had bought me in the past and mm -hmm. I read and I really loved, but Andy Weir had another book that came out between this and The Martian and it was not well really? received. Um, but this one is a newer release and everyone is really enjoying it, which has been exciting. I've also heard really amazing things about the audiobook for this. Hmm. Um, so I, this has been a book I've been meaning to buy for months and months and months. So this was an excellent buy. I'm so excited to have this on my shelf. And I think it's cool that you've bought me now two Andy Weir books. So I think that's special. But this is basically a lone astronaut, an impossible mission, and an ally he never imagined. But the synopsis of this sounds really cool. It basically follows a guy who wakes up millions of miles from home and he's been asleep for a really long time and both of his crewmates are dead and he's kind of hurtling through space and hurtling through a mystery. I, you should read this too. I think mm -hmm. this would be a fun book that we can both read and enjoy because you liked The Martian. I mean, every single book I picked, I thought this might be a book I'd read. This is probably what I'm most likely mm -hmm. to. Um, so, that was also part of my criteria. Yay, this is 10 out of 10. I'm so excited to have this. Thank you, Clay. Book number two. We got a paperback, friends. Is there anything you want to say before I dive into this? Was there a particular reason? I think once you see what it is, we can go into that. Okay. I actually think of the book types. Paperbacks are actually my favorite. If you didn't know. Really? I didn't yeah. know. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, the Essex 
Serpent. I've actually never heard of this. So what called out to you about this book? Yep, so this book was not in the fantasy section. Mm -hmm. um, it was in like the more general fiction section, which I was surprised. So uh, in the little card on in the bookstore, it said it was like a gothic uh, story set in the late 1800s. Um, has like a mystery to it. English uh, countryside. There's like a fearsome creature, who knows if it's actually real or if it's more mythical, being used as like a device, device in the book, but seemed dark, mystery, something you would like to read but not like right up your typical alley. No, no, this is amazing. I love historical fiction, I love gothic novels, mm -hmm. and like a historical fiction story with a bit of paranormal fantasy mm -hmm. mixed in, is it real, is it fake, is always something I really, really like, something really atmospheric. I have never heard of this book, but I am so happy you picked it up because it sounds like something I would love. I mean, the Essex Serpent, is it real? Is it fake? And I also love the concept of a woman after the death of her husband going to investigate this serpent, and there also seems to be a romance component, which, historical romance, is always a good time. Yeah, you so. like those. Yeah. And again, this cover is truly one of the prettiest things I've seen. Um, Yay, I'm so excited about this. All right, book number three. Ooh, it's a hardback. Ooh, it's a small hardback. It's mm -hmm. petite. Yep. So this one is a book that is a retelling of okay. uh, a classic. Oh, and I love I a know, retelling. I know you like retellings. I'm not sure how true it is to the original story uh -huh. and if it's taking, if it's like replacing a character, a new perspective, uh -huh. or it's just a character written into the story. Um, but it also has a component of magic, which the original does not. Amazing! Oh, all those things really call out to me. It's like a date with a book, you know? Like sometimes they do that at bookstores, it's like retelling, magic, dark. All of those things call out to me always. Oh, I've been wanting this book! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited you got this for me! Oh my gosh, you're doing so good! The Chosen and the Beautiful! Monica really sold me on really? this book. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a um, great retelling. Gatsby. Yes, a Great Gatsby retelling. Oh and my Reagan gosh. Reagan has rated the Great Gatsby five stars on <laughs> Yeah, but this one's really cool because it's following a Vietnamese adoptee in the 20s, and it also has elements of magical realism. Oh my gosh, I mean, you know this, you read mm -hmm. the synopsis too, but this is a book I've heard so many fantastic things about, and just, I hear the writing is beautiful. Sorry, I'm like gushing and talking way too much. You can talk more about this book. I'm just so excited you grabbed mm -hmm. this. I always really liked uh, The Great Gatsby as well. I found mm -hmm. that story really fun. Also, we lived in New York, and it's going to explore New York in like a magical 20s era, which is I always look back fondly on. But it has a kind of coming-of-age component, and I know you love coming-of-age stories, so... Yeah. Oh, this is such... Oh my gosh. I, I think you're doing even better this time than last time. Nice. I think you're absolutely killing it. Like, all of these books either were at the top of my I-need-to-buy list, or I wish I already knew about them, because <laughs> they sound so amazing. So, ah! Oh. I'm thrilled. Alright friends, on to book four. So this book is a new release and I think I had heard you talk about it, so uh -huh. hopefully you're excited about it. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a hardback. Mm. I love a, I love a good new release. Oh my gosh! Yes! Okay, I have been so excited about this book. This has been featured in multiple most anticipated releases videos, so this is an excellent nice. pickup. It's dark. Oh. This book, the thing that called out to me about this why Reagan would like it beyond the fact that I thought I heard her talk about it is it has a secret tournament and Reagan loves a tournament. I do love Anything a tournament like that. setting. One of my favorite book series that she's recommended. Uh, Gathering, Gathering of Shadows. Gathering of Shadows had a tournament element. She really likes that and um, thought this would be something right up her alley. And the reason why this actually called out to me really as a YA book is that it seems to have like a more brutal setting than you normally find in YA because it's about seven champions from seven families in this like town of magical families and they have to fight each other to the death and then the winner kind of allows its family to have the power in the area and I've heard really great early reviews and that it's actually super gruesome. I just, I love a dark YA tournament moment. So this was an excellent buy. Also the cover. I mean look at that. All of us villains. I would do terrible in this competition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this is the last one. Fifth and final book. Mm -hmm. I wanted to pick one that was very highly well received. Okay. And something that I don't think you would typically read. Okay. But would be something you enjoy. Oh, nice. Paperback. I like this wrapping paper, by the way. You did a good job wrapping all these. I'm really wow. impressed. Thank you. Oh! Oh, 
Oh, and it's a winner of the Pulitzer Prize. Oh, The Sympathizer, a novel. Okay. This is, I mean, I always like to try to collect Pulitzer winners, National Book Award winners. I am trying to read more literary fiction. So this is what I'm definitely really excited to add to my collection. Was there a reason why this book called out to you specifically? So I picked this book because it's about a man who is Vietnamese, who moves to America during the Vietnam War. He's in Los Angeles and he's a double agent. Oh, okay. So there's a spy component, but there's also this component of he has a new identity in America kind of meshing between him being a spy and also how he feels in being this new country. And one of the shows Reagan and I really liked that we watched about a year ago was The Americans, which dealt with similar themes. The dissonance. They're spies, they are actively working against the American government, and they're also living in America, which they're joining the community and it's reshaping their lives. This book sounds incredibly interesting. I had not heard of this, um, but I mean, everything about it, based from the synopsis, definitely called out to me. Um, and I have been pushing myself to try to read more fiction and honestly, while this is kind of contemporary, it's kind of historical fiction set in the 70s, which at this point is almost 50 years ago, which is wild to think about. It's also one of the 100 notable books of 2015. So yeah, this book sounds so good. I also feel like you would really enjoy reading mm -hmm. this book as well. Um, and I'm so happy to have this because I really think I'm going to enjoy it. I mean, obviously it won the Pulitzer Prize, so I feel like I should like it. I feel like it would be on me if I didn't like it, but, um, yes, thank you so much for grabbing this one. Honestly, Clay, 10 out of 10. I feel like you did even better this year than last year. I am so excited to read all of those books, so hopefully I'll get, uh, through my TPR perhaps a little faster than I normally do. Um, but thank you so much for going on that adventure. You're welcome. Hope you guys enjoyed this haul, and I will see you soon with another video soon. Bye-bye. Goodbye.